Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Welfare princess loses benefits, gets thrown in prison after cops see what's on her Facebook. A woman that some labeled as the welfare princess was caught in one of the most riveting welfare abuse scandals that many have seen for quite a while. This incident happened when a model named Karina Reed took advantage of the system and allegedly used the money for extravagant trips and meals. If you thought welfare abuse was just something people living in poverty did, then think again. This lady allegedly cashed the checks and spent taxpayer money on all sorts of fancy things. She whined, dined, and never mind. Part of the reason that she was able to be investigated or arrested on the charges was that her story and her lifestyle on Facebook didn't match up. According to reports, she was a model who was claiming to be so poor that she ate free food from a mosque. However, when looking at her Facebook profile pictures, the investigators noticed her living a lavish lifestyle, taking trips, eating fancy expensive meals, and living it up all on the taxpayer dime. This is likely what prompted a deeper investigation into her lifestyle and how she suddenly went from rags to riches. Apparently, it was easy. She just cashed some checks and used the taxpayer money. Now she's being found guilty of the crime and could spend several years in prison for what the cops found. Daily Mail wrote. A model who claimed she was so poor she had to accept free food from a mosque has been jailed for three years after benefits investigators unearthed her glamorous lifestyle on Facebook. Karina Reed, 32, who lived in a flat on Chelsea's fashionable Kings Road in West London after buying it with a deposit of £20,000, had 19 bank accounts containing £180,000. But she claimed more than £50,000 in housing and council tax benefits to help fund holidays to Hong Kong, Dubai, Spain. Portugal, France and Switzerland and meals at luxury restaurants. Reed, who also worked as a beautician, told the council that she had no savings and had taken no holidays between 2009 and 2014, but was jailed for three years at Isleworth Crown Court yesterday for dishonestly claiming benefits. The court heard how self-employed Reed first claimed benefits from Kensington and Chelsea Council in 2009, stating she earned a very low income from her beauty business and hands. But an investigation found her Facebook profile showed her taking holidays to various countries, sipping champagne in Harrods and dining at top London establishments including Scott's, the Dorchester Hotel and the Berkeley Hotel. A profile of Reed on the Enhance website said she was a senior medical aesthetician who had worked with a wide range of clientele, from VIP film stars, TV and radio presenters as well as on magazine shoots and celebrity events. Her King's Road flat was purchased with a deposit of £20,000, and she got a mortgage based on her true tax returns which showed that Enhance was a successful business. She had also sent £116,000 abroad in 2013-2014 to acquire property in Dubai, and her LinkedIn profile indicated her desire to expand her business to Dubai and Los Angeles. Eight of the nine dishonesty charges related to Reed's failure to declare savings of £180,000 in 19 separate bank accounts. There's even more to the story with her likely charges. The worst part is that Daily Mail reports none of the money was ever paid back. Of course, how could it be paid back if she spent it all and has no way to generate that type of income? If she goes to prison, then she definitely won't have a way to repay for all the welfare abuse she was caught up in, so it looks like taxpayers might have been ripped off with no way for the system to be replenished and used for someone else who really needs the help. We've seen welfare abuse where people trade food stamps for lower amounts of cash, but this model's crime is quite a big leap from exchanging a few dollars to buy something that's not approved, like a bottle of booze. This crime is some high-level welfare abuse where she must have gotten a ton of cash to be able to do the things it looks like she's doing. Regardless of what she does during or after prison, it seems like the system lost out and it doesn't seem like they will ever regain the cash. Her time in prison should be spent thinking about a new job. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.